Ever since the first skeleton was unearthed in a quarry in the Neander Valley in Germany 141 years ago, our ancestry has been in doubt. Now the same bones may have answered the question. Neanderthal people were not the ancestors of Homo sapiens. They were our victims. Certainly not, in my opinion, our ancestors and the opinion of this DNA team, not our ancestors, definitely. The most likely bet is that our ancestors lived in Africa and they evolved as a, a separate line in parallel with the Neanderthal line. And our ancestors then came out of Africa about 100,000 years ago and they began to replace these more ancient lines of people outside of Africa. And that included the Neanderthals. Homo habilis appeared in Africa about one and a half million years ago. Next came Homo erectus, half a million years ago. Neanderthals arrived in Europe about 300,000 years ago. The Cro-Magnons, our known ancestors, came out of Africa 100,000 years ago. Relations, it seems, were not good. The Neanderthals were wiped out. The evidence comes from a tiny snippet of DNA, genetic material, from the upper arm of the Neanderthal skeleton. It does tell us that we are quite unique as a species when we compare to chimps or gorillas in that we are all very, very closely related. We share a common ancestor very recently. So we are all, in a sense, Africans in disguise. It's the oldest genetic material ever recovered from a human. Dr. Perbo and his team multiplied it hundreds of times until there was enough to work with. Called mitochondrial DNA, it is always inherited from the mother, never from the father. So it is ideal for tracing relationships over thousands of generations. It also survives better than DNA from the nucleus of the cell. Experts are hailing it as the greatest achievement in this field of research. The achievement of these geneticists in extracting Neanderthal DNA, for the field of human evolution, it's, it's every bit as important as the Mars landing. I mean, for us, it's, it's, it's equivalent in excitement and importance to landing a probe on Mars and taking those pictures. Neanderthals had larger brains than the new humans and bigger bodies. They used tools and cared for their dead. Yet on today's evidence, the two species were so distinct, they could not interbreed. We do not carry Neanderthal genes. Could the genetic material be used to recreate a Neanderthal? A human Jurassic Park? No, say the scientists, it's the wrong sort of DNA. It is almost certain that this magnificent race of beings was extinguished by our forebears. It is also almost certain that it is beyond our power to undo the damage, to revive that which has gone. Andrew Beach, Channel 4 News at the Natural History Museum.